All right, redemption night. I went out to Jasper last week to try to capture Comet Lemon. Didn't go so well. I forgot my guide scope. I've made a packing list. I've got everything I need. Tonight's actually the closest approach. It should be lighting up the sky pretty good. And yeah, I'm super excited. All right. Probably should have started to set up before it got so dark, but that's okay. This is not level at all here. Polar aligning is always easier when you have a level tripod. So take a few, try to get it as level as possible first. I actually didn't leave myself too much time to get set up here. So I kind of have to speed things along at a good pace. Not taking as much time as I'd like to set everything up the way I want, but that's okay. At least I have my guide scope. USB. Camera. Mess of wires. It's so much harder in the dark. <laughs> Fan. This way. Now for the most important piece. This is what I forgot. I drove all the way to Jasper and forgot my guide scope. Guide scope. Okay, so I'm just doing the focus routine right now. And after that, I can do a polar alignment. Then we can start shooting the comet. So we gotta go to the right. Let's deal with that error first. There we go, we're basically bang on. We'll tighten it. So even just releasing the clutch, we probably dropped, but by how much? We dropped almost 25. That is good. Finish. Open up the guiding. Loop, quite a bit out of focus. So what I have to do is back this up till we have a few stars in focus. That's pretty good. All right, we're tracking. Finally get to see how close to the horizon it is. Oh yeah, it's low, pretty low. This is gonna be a hard target. This is going to be difficult. Whoa. <gasps> Looks like we can see the comet. Holy. Yep. That is. Wow. Okay. I need to rotate 90 degrees, a little bit to the right. Perfect. Okay. I'm just finishing up my session. I've got about uh, an hour data on Comet Lemon. Just taking my flats here, then I'm gonna pack up and head home. 